Hey there, hey, it's Elysian A, and welcome back or welcome to my channel. In my last video, I announced that I am engaged to be married, and I did receive some responses that you would like to hear how he proposed. So that's why we're here today. And yes, yes, you did read the title correctly. He did, indeed, propose twice. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, um, <laughs> diving right into the story, um, one question that I did get a few times was, um, if I was surprised or, you know, oh my gosh, how surprised were you? And I want to start by saying I really wasn't all that surprised. I was surprised by the how and the when, um, but he and I have a very, very, very open, um, line of communication and we entered into a dating relationship knowing full well what we were um going towards like what the goal was what the timeline was all of that um so i knew going into the relationship that marriage was on the horizon he was going to propose at some point um so I knew he was going to propose. Did I know when? Did I know how? No. And that's where this story <laughs> gets fun. So one day I was hanging out with Alan and he randomly tells me like, hey, mark this date in your calendar. Like, you know, make sure you're available on this date. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. So um, he told me, you know, make sure you're free. November 14th so I was like okay cool and at first I didn't think much of it but I was kind of like hmm that's weird well he doesn't usually do that we have dates we ha we hang out we do all of that but um it's never been stated like that it's usually just like you know we know already we're gonna see each other during the weekend so something may be planned um but this was like a solid month maybe month and a half ahead of time of a warning of like hey be free this day so I was just like okay um so I was like what's going on so then he told me he's like I want you to join me um on this engagement photo shoot and I was like okay <laughs> he told me where it was um where the photo shoot was going to be and he told me about the couple and he told me a lot about the couple mainly about the girl because he knew the girl previously um and knew the girl's sister I believe and so like he had just done a wedding like photo shoot with the girl's sister and she came along on that photo shoot so she even knew that like oh I'm gonna meet the girlfriend so as he's talking about this over the weeks this wasn't just like one day I'm like is he gonna propose like every everything y'all everything was just lined up everything made sense for that to be the day that he proposed. So that can, that day comes up. And your girl gets real cute. Because you know you never know what's about to happen. Okay. In my head. This might be the day. So be ready. At all times. Right. So <laughs> we go out. And this place. I have a whole vlog of this day. Okay. So if you watch the vlog. Then you will even know. Like yo. This day was real romantic. Like it was just. The scenery was beautiful. The. The. You know. The atmosphere was right. The feelings were there. I'm thinking. At this point. Like I'm fully invested in this scenario that I have in my mind. I'm like. He done planned it out. He done talked to the girl. And her fiance. They're in on it. They about to turn around. Grab the camera. Like, hey, can we see the kid? Can we see some pictures? They're gonna snap pictures of our engagement as well. Like, th this is literally. <laughs> I have created a whole situation. I did. And then we got in the car. And we were headed home. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Sis was feeling a little salty. Sis was, I was feeling 
some type of way and I was really trying not to because I was like okay Leah like you know what's gonna happen you guys talked about it this is this is gonna be a thing right I knew it was gonna happen before 2020 was over like he told me that much so I, I really didn't have to worry but it was just like in my head it was like no but this really was perfect like everything about this situation was perfect Oh, I didn't even knew it. So I'm feeling some type of way. We're in the car. We're on our way home. It's like a solid 50 minute ride. And I'm I'm here. And then I'm here. And then I'm like here. <laughs> and like five minutes away from the crib, I I have exhausted all of my uh push through energy. Okay. I was getting weary and vexed. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna be honest. And so he asked me, like, you know, what's wrong? So here's the thing, like, as I said before, he and I have a very open line of communication. We're very open with each other. We're very honest with each other. So I didn't want to start lying then because, you know, as soon as you start it, then it's going to start a whole nother. That's a whole nother. That could be a whole nother video in and of itself. But I was like, man, I really am mad. He asked. I did not want him to ask that because now I'm going to have to tell him. Now I'm going to feel bad. It's just too much. So I'm like, okay, well, how can I do this? How can I drop this in here? Now, mind you, I had already had a conversation prepared for him because I felt like we needed to talk about some things felt like we were getting a little too excited about you know marriage and the proposal wasn't even there yet so I was gonna say like hey like let's slow down like let we like I, I still believe that we're gonna get married but let's maybe don't talk about it so much until you know the ring comes like this was already in my mind but I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to have this conversation because I was hoping that that was gonna be the day that I was gonna get engaged anyway and then we could just move on but then I didn't get engaged. So now I'm like, dang, this is so awkward. Like, everything about this is so awkward. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I gotta tell him. Aaliyah, you're always honest. You gotta be honest. So I told him. I was like, yo, not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna propose. Like, I just, you know, thought this was it. Then the table turned and then I felt even worse than I already did because he tells me that he had a ring, he already paid for the ring, the ring was being made, wasn't ready yet. He was hoping it was gonna be ready, but it wasn't. Now I feel awful, because now I know that he also knew that everything about that day was perfect to propose, but he didn't have a ring. But like he did, but like he didn't, you know? So I felt awful. I felt so awful and I'm telling him like I'm so sorry like it's you, I get it it's fine I no you know what no we're good it's fine like I'm like trying to take back all of the words and everything and shove them back and I couldn't and then he does like the cutest thing in the world so he and I have this movie that we both enjoy and this movie um is it's a christian um movie i'll put it right here because i can't remember the name of it right now so this this movie this one and in this movie that he and i watch together the main characters um the couple the girl gets knocked up okay no i am not knocked up it's just the movie pay attention so the girl gets knocked up and is there in this diner she's in this diner with her boyfriend the father of the child and she's telling him like you know I got pregnant I don't know what to do she's freaking out she's panicking she's stressed he's like oh, we're gonna get married and she was like no you're just saying that because you just want to make me feel better like you, you're you just you're just saying that don't do that don't do don't do that and he's like no I'm serious we're gonna get married and she's like no you don't you don't even have a ring so this guy, real stellar move right here. He goes to the waitress behind the table the at the diner and asks this girl for a hair tie. Comes back and I kid you not, gets down on one knee and proposes to this girl with a hair tie. It was so cute. It was so adorable. I was in love with this scene. Fast forward, I'm sitting in the car with Alan. This whole scene has just played out of me wanting to literally disappear. 
And he goes, you know what? Give me your hair tie. And I'm like, what? He's like, give me your hair tie. And I was like, like, it's clicking. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do that just because I was stupid and made you feel bad for something you didn't have to feel bad for. No. And he was like, give me your hair tie. And I was like, no. <laughs> And then finally, after a few back and forth, I just, I took out my hair tie, I gave it to him, and he proposed to me with a hair tie. And I laughed. Not even gonna lie. Like, I straight up, la like, died laughing. Like, not just like, <laughs> no, died laughing, was cracking up, because I did not take him seriously at all. I was like, you're just playing with my emotions at this point. Like, no, you're just trying to be funny. you trying to lighten the mood. And then all of a sudden, like, his demeanor shifted. And I was like, wait, oh, you're se you're serious? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, you're s you're serious. <laughs> you you really, you want to. He's just, like, waiting. Like, are you going to say something? Like, yes or no? Like, <laughs> So finally I said yes. And here are some pictures of that. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was, like, really crazy, really hilarious. Um, I later, like, you know, said goodnight, went inside, was dying laughing some more. He got home, we duo, and I'm dying laughing some more. Eventually, I did, I did start crying. Um, it was a lot. There were a lot of emotions. Um, so, yeah, that was proposal number one. <laughs> I did not think at all, not for one second, that proposal number two was going to be coming so very soon because um, it did. Um, so fast forward a week, <laughs> literally a week. I'm thinking like this is going to take a minute, whatever. And honestly, after that whole situation, I just decided like, Aaliyah, you just going to shut up. Like, <laughs> Aaliyah, like let the man be the man like let him do him he's got it right so i made this decision to just let him lead and i will follow and you know close my mouth so um fast forward to the next weekend he comes over the house and it's a normal day okay i was about to take my braids down I didn't have no makeup on. Like, I was chilling. We were about to chill. We decided that we were going to kick it, watch some movies, watch some TV shows, whatever, and just chill. Like, real calm situation. And so we're in the basement where we normally are, where we normally watch movies and normally kick it. And we're sitting, we're chilling, we're talking. And it comes to be around, like, 11 o'clock. And I'm like, hey time for you to go home right and he was like haha you're always kicking me out and I was like well yeah <laughs> that I am like it's you know past curfew if you will um, and so he's like oh I got you something now here's the thing he's always getting me stuff all the time so I told him I was like no, no, you always, like, you get me too much stuff. Like, no, you always have something for me. No. So he's like, okay, just this one last I have, I just have this one thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh. He's like, close your eyes. So I close my eyes. And I'm sitting on the couch with my eyes closed. And he's like, okay, open your eyes. So I open my eyes and he's standing there with this little guy. <laughs> so if you know, you know, this is Baby Yoda. I love baby yoda um he loves baby yoda and we always make jokes about baby yoda um and so i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i love it i love it i love it right i'm super excited i stand up he's standing up i'm like ah i go and grab it i'm like he's so cute ah you know all of that and then he goes oh and his hand talks if you press it so i go to press the hand and it says And I was like, no. <laughs> and I literally just kept saying, you 
tricked me you tricked me like over and over and over again he pops down on one knee and he pulls out the box with the ring inside and i freaked out and i just kept saying over and over and over again you tricked me you tricked me you tricked me because he did and <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't have a video of that proposal because he literally thought about it like after the fact and was like, oh my gosh, when your eyes were closed, I could have set up the cam, I could have set up the camera right here and recorded the whole thing. But he was so, I mean, he was about to propose, Dude, dudes be nervous, so he was, <laughs> he wasn't thinking about all that. He was just thinking I'm about to propose for real, so hope this goes well, you know, hope she says yes again. <laughs> But yes, it was awesome. It was wonderful. It was magnificent. It was awesome. <laughs> I proceeded to like text, you know, people like my parents and my godmom, cousins, stuff like that. Um, and I was freaking out. I did cry, but it, again, it came late. Very late. Because I'm a very like giddy kind of person, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I just was laughing a lot, but it wasn't like laughing at him at all. Like it was just like, I'm just so happy. Like, oh my gosh. Um... And then literally like 30 minutes after the fact, I was sitting there and it just hit. And I was like, whoa, I'm getting married. Like, you want to marry me? What? What? Yeah. And then I started crying and it was cute. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little story time explanation of how he proposed twice. Um, I did get some more questions, so I probably will be doing a Q&A soon. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or feel free to DM me, reach out, whatever. You follow me on Instagram so you can see more um, posts over there. <sighs> yeah, like this video if you liked it. Thanks. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Ring that notification bell so you can be notified of any upcoming videos. <laughs> I love you and Jesus loves you so much more and remember you will never overcome that which is hidden and you will not conquer what you refuse to confront. Let's break some chains y'all. <laughs>